Our next guest has appeared on numerous Food Network shows and on major network shows like Food Fighters and CBS Sunday Morning. Kent Rollins has made a name for himself as one of the best chuck wagon cooks in the entire country. And he'll be appearing at the Pigeon Forge Chuck Wagon Cook-Off this Saturday. But this morning, he joins us right here on Daytime Tri-Cities. Appreciate you being here, my oh, friend. Oh, Chris, it's good to be back. Thank friend. you. Good Thank to you. be back. Let's talk about this big event coming right. up this weekend down at Pigeon Forge. Tell us all about it. You know, it starts uh, tomorrow at 9 o'clock. The Buckaroo sort of end up with some kids come in from uh, uh, out south Amarillo Boys Ranch out there. They come in, we're going to teach them. They're going to teach you how to brand mm -hmm. on a piece of firewood or something okay. like that. Do a little roping on stuff. You know, they have some uh, dummies set up out there on a the hay where everybody can do a little roping. But uh, a good friend, Andy Nelson, will be out there at 10 o'clock. He's from Pinedale, Wyoming. He's an award-winning cowboy poet and just uh, one of the best people you'll ever meet. Uh, there's uh, six chuck wagons competing. We sort of feed the overflow, but they come from the southeastern part of the United States and some from Arkansas. And uh, it's like stepping back in history and right. in time. You know, it's they all prepare food the same way that they did uh, when old Cookie was going down the trail, you know, with a Dutch oven and just wood coals. Uh, it's on Wares Valley Road right out there at Claybo's Campground. Claybo's Campground. Going yeah. out there and it'll be right back down in the park there and it's uh, the people out there at Claybo's have been really good to us for about the last eight years so we're glad to be back there. But you can get a ticket, just drive right up down right. there tomorrow and get a ticket before noon, get in line and hey, we'll feed you. Uh, all right, I like that. And you're going to be cooking out there tomorrow. You said you're going to kind of be cooking for some of the overflow yeah, folks we, there. Yeah, we feed the overflow. A couple hundred people you're going to be cooking yeah, for. Yeah, probably close to that. All right. right. You're one of the few people that I know that has beaten Bobby Flay, Chef Bobby Flay, in head-to-head -head competition. You outdueled him on some chicken fried steak, didn't yeah. you? Talk to us about that. You know, you, you sure you don't know he's coming when he comes in there. It's right. pretty much a surprise, you right. know. And uh, when he showed up and he it was, we're on a ranch in North Texas. It's 96 degrees, you know, we ain't even built a fire yet. <laughs> uh, and he comes in there and I said, hey, he said, I hear you cook the best chicken fried steak in the world. Yeah. I said, I don't know, but I've had a lot of practice. And he said, well, I like to challenge you. And I looked at him and I said, in my kitchen today? Right. And he said, yeah. And I said, welcome to the land of hot and heavy, Bobby. I said, things <laughs> is fitting to happen, you know. And, and he got hot. Oh. Uh, that old wood stove we got named yeah. Bertha, when I found out what was going on, I told Shan, my little sweet wife, I said, we'll chunk every piece of firewood we got in the world in there. And we'll see how tough this New Yorker is. But uh, he's a good sport. Right. You know, he's a good sport. And, and I love to do stuff for the Food Network. We've got some stuff probably coming out the end of this month, maybe. So right. uh, it is good. Uh, I've always enjoyed it. All right. Kent Rollins, I wish I hey, had about 30 more minutes to talk to you, my friend. My pleasure, my friend, friend Chris. It is so good to be back. Yeah, look forward to that, pig that Pigeon Forge Chuck Wagon Cook-Off coming up Saturday, March 4th. That is tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. there at Claybo's Campground off Wares Valley Road. 